Good morning, everybody. Sunny, beautiful morning this morning. I do not have the proper thing to put uh, my camera on, so I got to try to improvise and put it somewhere else. There. Don't know what you can see, what you can hear. Don't know. But we started out the morning this morning. Get my shoes back on here. Started out the morning this morning going to breakfast. And uh, went to the farm and uh, hauled a load of beans. Hauled a load of beans for one of the neighbors. Now we're going to take the truck up, put it away. We're going to hook onto the big mower with my pickup truck and we're going to bring it home. Oh, and for everybody that doesn't know, this is, uh, I do not have to wear my seatbelt. Everyone always says I need to wear my seatbelt. Well, no, I don't. I have a doctor's excuse that says I do not have to wear my seatbelt, so I do not wear it. I got a, I'm worried that I'll be in a wreck or something and stuck upside down and I can't get out fire truck will be on fire so I believe I'm going to take my chances without it so. we're heading to the farm like I say we're going to pick up the big mower and bring it home and uh, get it hooked onto the tractor and we got to start mowing around some fields uh, tomorrow got to go haul corn for a friend of mine who has some truck trouble so we're going to haul corn for him probably most of the day tomorrow Go get some mowing done today. Beautiful day out. I think it's going to be in the 60s today, early low 60s, I do believe. All right, we will talk to you when we get to the farm.
pretty heavy. Yeah. All right, now I gotta go find my telephone. I think it might still be in the semi. But I thought it was here, and I was up the farm here. Didn't want to pick the mower up, so I guess I'm heading back to the farm. Show your other camera. When you don't have a tripod. That's right. It was stuck there. Oh, yeah. Turn the mower on. moving hard today. I'll explain why here in a second. I'm gonna get my new shirt all dirty, that's for sure. There we go. There it is. All right, what we did here, we had a couple down days during harvest this year and this mower was sitting up the farm, so dad, he kind of started doing some work on it and he changed the blades and then this shield right here was broken off. There's two new bolts right there in the top of it. They were twisted off and the, the uh, shield was just flopping around. So he wanted to start, he wanted to fix that. So he started dinking around with it. What we had to do is up in here, this uh, pillow block bearing, there's bolt screw right down into it. So I just went down to the dealer and we got a new one. He put it on and after we put that on, this right here was real floppy. So we ended up putting new bolts in here and the way it's worn kind of moves and the way we have the bolts tight kind of moves hard. There is a bushing inside this right here. It's actually inside of this piece right here. I don't know what you'd call it, fork or something. And then the washer and this bolt tighten up against it then and it's making it, it's, it was worn. So I used mower when I got it. And now that it's tightened up, it's pretty snug on the forward and backwards motion. It'll be all right for the tractor. Just kind of rough for me. Check that out. New blades. We're all around.
down here this side. New blades. And we have them underneath too. And I guess while we're in here, this is first time some of you guys have ever been in this building here. Um, this was actually built for a shop. This is a 40 by 60 building. It's got a 20 by 14 door in the end of it. And I put this up 2005, I believe. Um, two of my buddies and I built this structure. Had the concrete put down. And then two of my buddies and I, we built the structure itself, put it up, erected all of it. And then I had another friend of mine who has a uh, roofing business came in. He put all the siding, put the insulation on and the siding on. But uh, pretty decent building here. This building kind of became a catch-all when we got into the goats pretty heavy. Now all the curtains hanging down in here around the back. I've got pallet racking around there and stuff on shelves. And we had the wedding in here. Kylie had it all decorated up. Look at the ceiling. She got lights hanging on the ceiling and stuff. But she had it all decorated up. But I know some of you will ask about this thing. I don't know how well I'm going to get it videoed or not. But uh, this is a Red River. Uh, let's see. This is a Red River Standard. I forget how wide the cylinder is on this, but this is a thrashing machine. And uh, I bought this several years ago and we brought it home and actually got it turning and ran it. We didn't run anything in it, but we ran it. And it's all there. There is a few things that need some attention. A little bit of rust up here. There's a hole in the bottom of the, where the grain falls into the auger that takes it out to a wagon. And then Underneath the fan, there's it needs some attention. And then back here on the very back under the fan that blows the straw out needs some attention. But uh, of course, the mighty 856 sitting in here. Kylie wants to start using this to video in. So that means we'll have to move all the tools and everything out here, which is fine. We don't have any heat in here. I actually have a corn furnace in the back, but I'm not going to burn corn this year. So I'm thinking about those, some type of those tube heaters that go up in the ceiling or something. I, I don't know if any of you guys know anything about those things. You may pipe in. Uh, concrete's already in, so heating the concrete's out of the question. Forced air heater. I don't know. Whatever you guys think we ought to heat this with, let me know. So... All right, well, we're going to get the mower out. Um, when Dad had it up there at the farm, it got all greased up and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn the cameras off for a while, and I'm going to go out and do a little bit of mowing. So might be where I leave you today. Got to get some mowing done. And then uh, I have a doctor's appointment at 7.30 in Columbus in the morning, which would be Tuesday morning. And then as soon as I get home from that, I'm heading to uh, Donnie's to chuck some corn. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, got my new Harmless Farmer t-shirt on. Now this one is a pocket one. We don't have any pocket ones for sale, but we do have regular t-shirts. There you can see the back of it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you taking the time, guys.